Let's think, Emma. Where were you the last time you had them? Hmm, let's see. I wore them on the rainy planet, and then I had them on the mud planet. Wait, did I have them on the rainy planet? Or maybe it was the... Oh, I can't remember. But they're definitely not here. I've looked everywhere. How are we gonna help you find them if we don't know where to look? Hmm, I've always wondered where lost things go. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I, I can't remember. <sighs> oh, wait a minute, hmm? that looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Toy, I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! Hmm. Lost boots! That way! <laughs> Let's go! Huh? PK, look! It's my coloring book I lost years ago! It's yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. And I signed it. But Orbit, Rob and Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. <sighs> Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You can pretend it's your tummy trunk. finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're uh, stuck. What are we going to do? 
gonna do? <sighs> Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I. I also don't know where we are. Huh? How do we get back to Rob and Emma? I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. Uh, wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one and left a trail. Yes! We can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly! TK, I am a finding genius. And you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit. I think. Orbit! TK! Aw, it's no use yelling, Rob. They can't hear us through all these boxes. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! Look, TK, the rocket! My trail led us right back to where we started! But where are Rob and Emma? Huh? Shh, listen! Huh? It sounds like it's coming from... TK, is that you? Rob, what are you doing in there? Where's Emma? In here. Uh -huh. The boxes fell on us. <gasps> Don't worry. We'll get you out. <laughs> Do you think the best finder ever could find us a couple of lost bulldozers? Wait, maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk. That's it! Your tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back, Orbit! I'm going into overdrive! Oh! TK, you're the best! Look out, Orbit! Here we come! <laughs> TK really saved the day. Yeah. Uh, speaking of saving the day... Ta-da! Orbis! You found my moon boots! Thank you so much! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Yay! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? on things that belong to you. That's what Orbit did. And he started to find all the things that he'd ever lost. Orbit was so excited, he stopped paying attention to where he was going. Next thing we knew, he was lost with TK. But TK figured out that following the trail of Orbit's stuff would lead them back to us. Good thing too, because Emma and I got trapped under a pile of boxes. We needed TK's help to get us out. Not only did we find Emma's lost boots, we also learned how important it is to pay attention and stick together when you're in a new place so you don't get lost. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, Can't catch.
watch me! <laughs> oh, you're it! Mm. Hey, Emma, aren't you playing tag? Hmm? No, I'm reading. Reading what? A storybook about a gallant green knight. I wish I could meet a real knight. One who is brave and wears armor and has gracious manners. Like in my book. Hey, there must be some place in the galaxy where we can meet a knight. Huzzah! That sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can meet a real knight. That sounds like a noble idea. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Treehouse huh? planet? I don't think we'll find a knight there. Too hard to climb a tree in armor. Bath planet? No way can a knight take a bath in his armor. Yeah! The medieval planet! That's perfect! We're sure to find a knight there! <laughs> yes, the medieval planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Stop the medieval planet. It's made by the best blacksmith in the galaxy. Uh, uh, sure, but you dropped your uh, shield. Mine. Uh, well, that was a bit rude. I don't understand it. The green knight in my story was so polite and charming. Look, he's coming back. I bet he wants to apologize. Let me guess. There's something you'd like to say to us. Yes, there is. Ahem. I challenge you, Sir Rob, to an archery match. Archery? <laughs> You're wrong! Huzzah! Hooray for Rob! Huh? My turn. Hey. Hold this. Oh, look! A oh. green-eyed dragon! What oh. dragon? <laughs> look! I won! I'm the winner! The winner! The winner! Hey! That's cheating! <laughs> Nuh-uh, it's not! So much for my gallant green knight! He's anything but gallant! Yeah, he's a big old cheater! Hmm. I know how to settle this. 
I challenge you to a catapult contest, Green Knight. Then we'll see who's the winner. You're on. Me first. <sighs> this knight has no manners at all. Ha! <gasps> ah, beat that. Your turn, Rob. You can do this. Hm. Watch. This is how it's done, big guy. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> hey, that was not fair. Was too. I'm the winner. Come on, <laughs> that should be a do-over, right? You know, a knight needs to be more than just big and, and uh, full of armor. Yes, knights are supposed to be polite and honest and... <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> You're stuck. This is not funny. Let me out. Nope. <gasps> That's it. We're putting this knight in his place once and for all. Uh, after we rescue Rob, I'll take care of this. Huh? Huh? Can we have the key to the wagon, Mr. Knight? Nope. But you have to. Or, or... Or I'll tickle you! I'm not ticklish. Green Knight, this is silly. You have to let our friend go. Okay, i let him go if you can guess the magic word. Magic word? That's easy. Finally, some manners. The magic word is please. Nope. <laughs> huh? What other magic word is there? Abracadabra? Castle? Huzzah? Huh. I bet the Green Knight doesn't even have a magic word. Do too. I don't believe you. I think you've forgotten it. I have not. It's fiddlesticks. <laughs> fiddlesticks. <clears throat> I said it. Now you have to let Rob go free. What? <laughs> Fine. But the last one of the stocks is a rotten egg. Wow! Uh, I win, but uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Whoa, what happened here? Uh, are you okay? Here, we'll help get you out. Huh? Why would you help me after the way I treated you? Because it's important to be helpful, courteous, and polite to others even if others don't always have manners of their own. Mm. Oh. I don't know what to say. I guess I could be more courteous and polite, only I don't know how. I have a book that might help. It's all about a good and gallant knight. I could lend it to you if you say the magic word. Fiddlesticks? Oh, no, wait, not that word. I know. Please! Huzzah! He's got it! Thank you. Aw, oh, you're welcome. I'd say our gallant Green Knight is off to a great start. I'd say this is one noble mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Went to the medieval planet to meet a great and gallant knight, like the one in Emma's book. Only the green knight we met was anything but gallant. He wasn't polite or helpful at all. All the green knight did was misbehave, and he ended up getting stuck in the stocks. Even though he had been mean to us, we decided to help him out, and the green knight realized what it meant to be gallant. He even borrowed my storybook so he could learn more about being a good and gallant knight. Huzzah! 
A greatly gallant mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Bye. Everybody. Just getting salad tongs. I've got the dressing. Ah! Whoa! Ta-da! You need to be more careful. I mean, what's more important, salad or safety? It's a toss-up. Get it? <laughs> Come on, let's make a super yummy, good for the tummy salad. Um, I've got bad news. We're all out of tomatoes <gasps> and cucumbers. Uh and lettuce. What? A salad isn't a salad without lettuce. Wow, he's serious about lettuce. Are you sure we're all out? I'm sure. <sighs> we go through more lettuce than a drove of rabbits. How can you be talking about driving rabbits at a time like this? <laughs> a drove of rabbits is just another way of saying a group, Orbit. What we need is our own vegetable garden, and we'd never run out. That's a great idea. We could grow our own carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers. And lettuce! A whole drove of lettuce! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can plant our own vegetable garden. That sounds like a vegilicious idea. Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bath planet? No, that's where we go to get clean after we plant a garden. The beach planet? That won't do. Vegetables need soil to grow, not sand. The garden planet, that's perfect. Yes, the garden planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. garden, Orbit. Lots of folks come here to plant vegetables, so somebody must have left it out. Uh, somebody wasn't thinking about safety. Hey, look at this spot. No one's using it. It would make a good garden, don't you think? Sure, but we'll have to prepare the soil first. It needs to be dug up and turned over using shovels. I can do that. I can help. Um... Also, we'll need a plan. We need to figure out what to plant and where to put it. That can be our job, TK. Come on, let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to report the garden site is ready to go, Captain Soil. Awesome, Major Dirt. Operation Veg, very excellent garden, is underway. And while you were digging, we figured out where plants should go. Yes, we organized the plants into rows, so we'll know what each vegetable is when it sprouts out of the ground. One question, Agent Sprout. What's with the chicken wire? Are we growing chickens? <laughs> of course not. It's to keep out the rabbits. 
Rabbits love vegetables. Good idea. We don't want anyone or anything eating our lettuce. <laughs> right. Now all we need to do is plant the seeds and seedlings. Hey, I know. Let's have a race to see who can plant the seeds the fastest. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Stop leaving garden tools lying around. I win. I'm the fastest, so I'm the. <gasps> Ouch! Are you okay? Are you sure? Well, okay, but you should be more careful where you're stepping. Soil? Huh? Rob? What are you doing? Wait a minute. There's something funny going on. What's he doing? Oh, I get it. He's pretending to be a rabbit. Ha ha. Very funny, Rob. Uh, are you sure he's joking around? Maybe that bonk on his head was harder than we thought. Rob? Uh oh. I think you're right. Maybe Rob has a loose wire. Hmm. <gasps> he thinks he's a rabbit. Worse, he's a rabbit. We have to do something. Don't panic. We'll find a way to fix this. Let's think. Hmm. Maybe we can rejig his wires or hit his reset button. Rob? Oh, no! Ah! What happened? Rob isn't just a robot. He's a Destructo Bunny. We've got to find him. Come on. Huh? Here, Robert, Robert, Robert. Oh, we really need to take safety more seriously around here. I know you're there. I hear you, Rob. Ah! You're not Rob! Aha! Uh -huh. Whoa! Trap. Um. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for later. Here comes Rob. I hope this works. Ready? No! <laughs> Robo sticks! He's too quick! I'll never catch him. He's too fast. <laughs> 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 Who put that there? Rob! Are you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Woohoo! You're okay! You're okay! Rob isn't a robot anymore! A rabbit? Would you believe us if we said you thought you were a rabbit? A rabbit? You mean the animal with floppy ears that hops? <laughs> That's silly. Uh-huh. But it's true. Huh? We think one of your wires came loose when you hit your head on that rake. That rake? For real? Wow. I guess I should be more careful, huh? We should all be more careful. <laughs> this looks amazing. And now that the garden tools are put away, no one will get hurt. Right. Now we'll have yummy vegetables to look forward to. And you know what that means. We'll have... <laughs> yes, and it means this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today 
we went to the garden planet to plant a vegetable garden. Only I walked into a rake and, well, can you believe it? I thought I was a rabbit. When I bumped my head again, I returned to normal. But it made us realize how important it is to pay attention to safety. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, sound is coming from over here. Huh? Whoa! A stowaway space frog! Hey there, little guy. Look! I found a space frog! Wow, he's cute! We should give him a name. Herbie? Henry? Oh, I know! Harold! Harold, I like it. Where do you come from, Harold? My creature book says frogs live on land and in water. It doesn't say anything about rockets. We should find Harold the home. Yeah, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a home for Harold. Who's Harold? Harold is a space frog. Finding Harold a home sounds like a great mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The ice planet. Ooh, it'll be too cold there for Harold. The water planet? Hmm. Space frogs like water, but not all the time. The forest planet. That's perfect. Yes, the forest planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the forest planet. <laughs> Yay! Wow, this is a pretty planet. I'm sure we'll find a good home for Harold here. Right, Rob? Huh? Uh, Rob? <laughs> I'll race you, Harold. Boy, you're a fast little froggy, but you don't say much, do you? <laughs> Come on, Rob. We're here to find a home for Harold, remember? Oh, right. Which way do you want to go, Harold? Okie dokie. We go that way. Wait, we need to know what to look for. My book said frogs live on land or in water. Right. So we should find a home that has both land and water. I bet Harold can lead us to the perfect spot. He's a smart little guy. Follow that froggy! <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh. A canyon. Maybe we should turn back and look someplace else. That okay with you, Rob? 
Rob? <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Rob? Playing hide and seek with Harold. It's his turn to find me. <laughs> but we're supposed to be finding Harold a good home, not playing games. Oh, right. Sorry. We'll find you a good home, won't we, buddy? <laughs> this way, everyone. But what about the canyon? We're not gonna let a little old cannon stop us, are we, Harold? What's that? There's a good home for you on the other side? Okay, let's go. Ah! Rob! I don't think... Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Hey. Ooh, ooh. Hang on, Harold! Phew, that was a close one. But you weren't scared, were you, buddy? No, I didn't think so. Come on, it's not so bad. <sighs> this better be worth it. Come on, Harold. Let's have some fun while we're waiting for them. across the canyon. Do you hear that? It sounds like water. That means there's both land and water here. This is a good home for Harold. I don't think so. What? Why not? Harold says he's hungry. There's nothing for him to eat here. Eat? Oh, I never thought of that. It says here that space frogs eat space flies. Well, that makes sense, but I don't see any space flies. I guess we'll just have to keep looking. Come on, Harold. Ah! <laughs> uh, <coughs> I think I swallowed a bug. Mm. Ew. Ah, they're pesky space bugs. You mean food for Harold! Ooh, yeah! This place is perfect. Look, it's got land, and there's a nice pond nearby. That's water and bugs. Ugh, lots of them. I don't think this huh? is a good home for Harold. What do you mean? We've been all over this planet, and we finally found a great place for Harold. Yeah! What's wrong with it? Nothing, I guess. Except that, well, Harold will be here, and I'll... I'll be on the rocket. We understand, Rob. You'll miss Harold. We all will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we become friends. He'll miss me too much. He won't have any friends here. Huh? <laughs> He's happy! Listen! More space frogs! Now this is the perfect home for Harold. He'll have everything he needs, including friends. Well, bye, Harold. I'll miss you. But I'd say this is a pretty big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. 
So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the forest planet to find a home for Harold, one with both land and water. Only we realized Harold also needs something to eat, space flies. We finally found a place with land and water and food. But I didn't want to leave Harold. We'd become good friends. Then we discovered Harold could have lots of friends. And that made me happy, because I knew Harold would be happy. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. for TK. Hmm. And... Oh! One for me! What did you get, TK? This is a third generation 400 gigahertz voice and noise modulator. Whoa! What does it do? Uh... It makes my voice sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Rob when he does his moose calls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! I got something from the Galaxy Beaver Scouts! <gasps> a finder's badge! And a note! It says, I've now earned all of my Galaxy Beaver Scout badges! So now I'm an official Space Scout Explorer! Woohoo! Oh, God! Uh, <laughs> but now you'll be in a different group than us. Hmm. Maybe we should earn our finder's badges, too. Yeah! Yes! Then we can graduate and all be Space Scout Explorers together. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Emma, Orbit, and TK want to earn their Galaxy Beaver Scout Finders badge. That sounds like a great mission. All right, let's see where you can go. The Stinky Cheese Planet? I think we'd know what we'd find there. See you! <laughs> the Clock Planet? Hmm, I don't think we have time for that. The Scout Planet? That's perfect! Yeah! Yes, the Scout Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. first. 
It says here, we need to pay attention and stay on the path so we don't get lost. Path? Got it. Anything else? Hmm. No, just that someone with their finder's badge, that's Rob, needs to carefully hide the farfetch you. Hmm. Oh, please. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Uh, if you say so, start counting to 100 and good luck. I've got to hide this someplace good. Ha-ha! <laughs> They're really going to have to keep their eyes open if they want to find the farmer. Ouch! Oh, that's smart. Huh. 99, 100. 101, 102, 100. Oh, hey, wait for me. a good place to hide the far for you. But that looks even better. Yeah! Nothing here. Hmm. Ha! I found something. Hmm. Are those animal tracks? Maybe a baby bear or a deer or a walrus? No. Hmm. Remember when we got our animal tracker badges? Forest animals have hooves, claws, or paws. These are robot tracks made by... Rob! Oh. But they're headed away from the path. Rob wouldn't go huh? that way unless... Uh, he was lost. Or unless he really wants to give us a challenge. Okay, Rob. We'll play by your rules. Come on. Let's find that farfetch you. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this is it. This is the perfect spot to hide the farfetch you. Uh, huh? Where'd it go? Uh, what did I do with it? Hmm. I, oh, I left it on the bench. Oh, uh, that's okay. No problem. I'll just go back and get it. Uh, oh, where am I? Oh no, I'm, I'm lost. Oh, what would a Galaxy Beaver Scout do now? Oh, if you are lost, the thing to do is just stay put. Let others find you. Oh, oh, oh! The fire for you. you! We found it. Mm-hmm. But where's Rob? Oh no. Maybe he is lost. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Rob! He went that way. How do you know? Those leaves look like they just fell. This rock is flipped over, and those plants are newly squished. See the footprint? I bet Rob ran by, flipped the rock over when he jumped to high five the branch, hit the leaves, and they fell. Huh! Wow, that tracker's badge of yours is really paying off, Orbit. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. I have a pretty sharp eye for. Hey, wait! Oh. 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 Ah, is it a bear? Sounds more like a moose. Hmm. Wait, I know that sound. That's Rob. <sighs> Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I'd be here forever. Hey, how did you find me? <laughs> I guess you'd say our animal coal badges came in handy. Actually, a lot of our galaxy beaver skills helped us today. Wow, am I glad. Hmm. I'm really sorry I got lost and you had to find me, and, and I'm also sorry that I, uh... Sort of lost the far for you. 
Oh, you mean this little thing? <gasps> you found it! I don't believe it! Do you know what this means? Huh? Huh? You've earned your finder's badges! <gasps> These are for finding the chest and for <gasps> finding me. Way to go! <laughs> I'd say this is one big mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we went to the Scout Planet so that Emma, TK, and Orbit could earn their finder's badge. It was my job to hide the Farfetch'u. I was so excited to play the game that I didn't realize I was lost. Orbit, Emma, and TK had to use their Galaxy Beaver Scout skills to find me. While they earned their badges, I learned I should pay more attention to where I'm going. And remember, if you're lost, the thing to do is just stay put. Let others find you. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. You're just in time. We're playing a game of space blocks. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Careful, Rob. Uh. Oh. Hmm. What? Yeah. Right. Good going, Rob. Thanks, TK. Our turn. Your go, Orbit. <laughs> we win! We win! Um, you do realize the game is to leave the tower standing, right? Really? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Building towers is tons of fun. I'd love to build a life-size tower with super giant building blocks. Oh, me too. That does sound kind of cool. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to go somewhere we can build a life-size tower with giant building blocks. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Sport Planet! A great place to find starting blocks, but we need building blocks. Origami Planet! <laughs> Perfect for building paper airplanes, but not for wooden towers. Whoa! That place looks terrific! <laughs> yes, the building block planet. Great choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Building block. 
Claw Crane. Perfect for building great big fancy towers. Try it out! Er, uh, a castle? Huh? Maybe we should try something a little easier. What about this? Perfect! We can build this thing in no time! And the sooner we finish building it, the sooner we can knock it down! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Orbit, the goal is build something you can't knock down! Huh? Hey, I have an idea! Let's split into teams and see who can build their tower the fastest. And the strongest. Yeah! TK's on my team. I'm with Orbit. Woohoo! Yay! Let's do it! Right. Ready? Steady? Build! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Ow! Ow! Hmm. All the red ones are square shaped. And those orange ones all look like the letter L. Let's sort the blocks into different colors first. That way we can easily work out which ones to use for the foundation. Uh, the what nation? <laughs> foundation, Rob. Foundations are built at the bottom and keep a building strong and safe. A strong foundation stops it from falling over. I get it, just like our space blocks game. Mm -hmm. This will be the best tower ever! This is so easy, Emma. Look, we are way ahead of Rob and TK. We'll have our tower finished before they've even placed the first block. Whoopsie. I may have been a bit too fast there. <laughs> no problem. We still have plenty of time to build another. Only this time, we need to build even faster. <laughs> this foundation looks great. What's next? According to the picture, the next pieces are the blue blocks. Roger that. Blue blocks coming up. Slow builders, why are they taking so long? Not again. No. <gasps> okay, one more try orbit, only this time we need to build at super speed. Super speed, my specialty. Hmm. Yeah. We're nearly there. We're at the final stage. According to the picture, there should only be two green blocks left. Triangle shape, right? Correct. Then we're finished. Woohoo! I wonder how Emma and Orbit are getting on. Hopeless. Every time we get close to the top, the tower falls over. Maybe we are not built to build towers. Hmm. Hey, you guys, don't give up. You can still do it. All it takes is a little patience and some help. The picture gives clues on what pieces go where. <gasps> the picture! Gosh, we got so caught up in the race, we forgot all about following the instructions. Hey. Why don't we all help build a tower together? We'll have this up before you can say Bolt Boy! Bolt Boy! <laughs> <laughs> Shaped like an upside down letter U. Oh, I see it, I see it. E 
Easy does it, Orbit. Slowly. Just a little more. It's even more fun than knocking them over. <laughs> I guess that's one towering mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the building block planet so we could build ourselves a life-size tower. TK and I learned it's best to organize things before building. But Emma and Orbit weren't so organized. They decided it was better to build super fast. And each time they rushed, their tower toppled over before they could finish. We learned that if you're careful and follow the instructions, you can build almost anything. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Building Block Planet. Woohoo! work. You know, we could try to find an actual fair. Then you wouldn't have to work at anything. Why didn't I think of that? There must be some place where we can ride some real rides. High ones, too. Uh, high ones? Yes, TK, really high ones. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can ride some real fun fair rides. Looking for some fair play, hmm? Okay, let's see where you can go. The horse planet? We want to ride roller coasters, not horses. Garden planet? The only thing to ride there are tractors. Yes, the Fair Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
my very favorite game in the whole galaxy. Uh, how do you play again? You hit the target with the hammer, but you need to hit it hard, so the metal thingy goes all the way up and rings the bell. Oh, right. I, I knew that. But maybe Orbit should go first. There's no rush, after all. Don't be silly. This is your favorite. And the sooner we win, the sooner we can go on the ride. Oh. Er, uh... Whoa! Try the elevator ride. Wait, uh, why don't we uh, uh, have a snack first? But we should ride the elevator ride now. What if there's a lineup or a power outage? Or is that a candy apple stand? Oh, candy apples! Where? Where? Mmm, they look yummy. Tasty treats, tasty treats. Look at all my tasty treats. Isn't this awesome? It's awesome, all right. Let's take our time and enjoy. They have red candy apples, maple apples, chocolate apples. Look at all these candy apples. Orbit, you ruined our snack. Uh, sorry. It's okay. We can use up our tickets and get lots more. <laughs> I think we'll have to make snacks back on the rocket, TK. We need to keep some tickets for rides, remember? Come on! <laughs> mm, I remember. How high do you think it goes? Oh, I hope it goes all the way up to the clouds. No, higher than the clouds. Higher than the clouds? Hey, we almost walked right by the teacup ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty please with nuts and bolts on top? Let's ride it now. Well, okay. Teacup, TK? Oh, well, then maybe we could uh, play the hammer game again or have another snack. Is everything okay, TK? Oh, everything's great. I'm fine. Off to the elevator ride. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared. Scared? Well, why didn't you say so? You don't have to ride it if you don't want to, TK. We understand. Really? Phew. Okay, then. Um, what are we waiting for? I want to go straight to the top! You got it. Here you go. One. One. Sure sound like they're having fun up there. It's your turn, Rob. I'll work the controls. You two ready? Wait, I think I'd like to try. Really? As long as we go up slowly, okay? Of course. You're gonna love it. I'll hold your hand if you want, and we can come down whenever you want to. Okay, thanks. Ready? Here we go! This isn't so bad. Level two, please. This is fun! Higher, please! 
It's okay to be scared. Do you want to go down now? No. I just need a second. Hey, look! There's the snack shop! Oh, yeah! And there's the teacup ride. Higher, please, Emma! <sighs> it's so pretty up here. A little higher, please! TK, we can't go any higher. We're at the top. We are? That means... I did it! I really did it! Yay, Yay TK! Wee! Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that was a blast. It wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it would be. I guess I just needed to try it. Yeah! You did great, TK. What an awesome ride. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, today we visited the Fair Planet. Orbit Emma and I were excited to ride the elevator, but TK was scared. It took her a while to admit it, but she finally told us. When TK saw how much fun it was, she decided to give the ride a try. She found that by going slowly and taking things step by step... The ride wasn't scary at all. It was fun. I'm glad I gave it a try, with the help of my friends. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! You're just in time. We're just about to play a song we wrote. Come on. All right, let's get this concert started. <laughs> a one and a two and a one, two, three, four. My Ruby bar. Oh. Here you go, TK. Thanks. My whammy bar's bent. Uh, maybe a little, but how does it sound? Uh. Uh, great! Let's keep playing. Orbit, my guitar's not supposed to sound like that. Uh. And now the whammy bar's stuck in there. Do you have another guitar you can use so we can keep playing? No, I'll have to fix this one. I just need the right tool. Oh, nope. Hmm, nuh uh. Uh, definitely not. <sighs> I have five bazillion tools, and not one of them is a whammy bar wrench. Maybe there's a planet nearby where you can borrow the right tool to fix your guitar. And we can give our other instruments a tune up, too. My drum's sounding a little glum. Yeah. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can fix TK's guitar. Well, that sounds like music to my ears. Let's see where you can go. The Fruit Planet? That's a good place to fix a snack, but not to fix an instrument. The Magic Planet? We want to put on a concert, not a magic show. Now that looks like a good place to fix an instrument. Yeah. <laughs> the repair shop planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Whoa! 
sharp planet. over to it, press a button, and the machine does the rest. Here, I'll show you. Wow! Cool! Wow! Ooh. Huh? Orbit, what are you doing? Fixing all our instruments! No, Orbit, that's too many things for it to fix all at once! Uh, that can't be good for our instruments. Oh, no. Once it starts fixing something, you can't machine needs fixing. Don't worry, guys. I'm on it. I'll start by reprogramming the robot arms. It'll take a few minutes to get them working properly. A few loud minutes! Or are you hearing what I'm hearing? It's so musical! need my microphone if I can find something else to make my voice sound louder. La, 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 la. Oh! La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Nice! Awesome! <laughs> okay, almost done. La, la, la. Rob? Emma? Orbit? Wow! This is neat! But don't you want to play with our instruments? We do, TK, but we're finding all kinds of stuff here to make music with. Try it! It's fun! But I really wanted to play my guitar. Oh, although I guess I could make my own music maker. <laughs> wow, neat! I think we have more than enough music makers to play our song. What do you say? Yeah! yeah. Less jelly! I mean, jam!
big musical mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we were having a jam session when TK's guitar got broken, so we went to the repair shop planet. We tried to fix it with the fix-it machine, only we ended up breaking even more instruments. While we waited for TK to fix the fix-it machine, we realized lots of things make nifty sounds, not just musical instruments. So we used those things to play our song, and we had an awesome jam. We learned that if something makes a sound, it can also make music. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> hey, Emma. What's wrong? Where's your instrument? I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? <laughs> Symbols. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We need to find an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo, I. I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Monkey planet. Yes! <laughs> I don't think monkeys spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma. Book planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet. That could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the band planet. Hey, it plays music when you walk. Uh, that's a high note. And this one's a low note.
we should try something else. <sighs> bad, bad, huh? Hey, what's that? That's a saxophone. It's a woodwind instrument. Wood? But it's made of brass. It's called a woodwind instrument because it has a wood reed that you blow into. <gasps> Uh, that's not the way it usually sounds. Here, let me show you. Would anyone mind if I switched my kazoo for a saxophone in our band? Uh-uh. No problem. Let's keep looking. This thing. It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder. Like this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, Emma, are you okay? That was awesome! Do you think I could play that? Give it a try and see. Band? Absolutely. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Uh, don't be sad, Emma. We'll find your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey, this looks cool. Drumsticks. We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! That yeah. was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, symbols! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La 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 That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you! I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right! Great idea! Do you think it will work? Of course! Your singing is great! Oh, I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go!
control? Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Bad Planet! The brave adventurers made their way from the mystical minds of Mumu and on towards Mount Boom. But can the heroes survive the spooky woods? The bridge of Crackaboom and the scary space trolls? <gasps> Find out in book two. <sighs> what are we going to do now? We'll have to wait forever to find out how the story ends. Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we have an epic adventure? Let's act out the book and make up an ending of our own. Yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> for us to pick a planet. somewhere we can have an epic adventure and act out the ending of our book. That sounds fantastic. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Sports can be full of action and drama, but I don't think it's the right place for a storybook make-believe. Ooh, sticky candy is excellent. But it doesn't seem right for a story either. Mm. What about that one? Yeah, Storybook Planet would be great. Yes, that's the perfect place for you to act out a fantastic story adventure. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. <laughs> Greetings, travelers! Who comes looking for adventure on Storybook Planet? I'm Rob. These are my friends Orbit, Emma, and TK. And we're here to act out one of our favorite stories. It's called Spells and Space Trolls. <laughs> if you're going to act out a fantastic fairy tale, you need to look the part. Just step through the costume maker, and you'll soon be ready to step into your story. <laughs> wow, Orbit, you look amazing! Not Orbit, I'm Orbo, the Orange, a mighty wizard! <laughs> Make way for Eminem the Barbarian, fearless and strong. <laughs> I'm Lagless, the super speedy elf princess. Ready for action! <laughs> I'm Robogorn the Ranger! Ranger, Barbarian, Elf and Wizard! You are the Fellowship of the Robots! Your adventure awaits! Oh. Now, take this magic bracelet. It will help you to find your way back to the rocket. 
What do you mean, back to the rocket? It's right th huh? huh? Wow, that's strange. One thing between you all. Leave no friend behind. The magic bracelet leads the way. The rocket you must find. The bracelet will guide us. The adventurers arrived at the dark and spooky woods. <laughs> the ghosts of the woods will let you pass if you leave us a gift, something that will last. Ghosts! They're not real, everyone. It's just a story, remember? Well, I'm not afraid. Give me the bracelet, and I'll go on ahead and come back for you once I reach the rocket. <laughs> What you must give is worth a lot, and with each other, lose it not. But if you fight, you'll have to mend this gift I seek that rhymes with end. I know what the ghost wants. Oh, great spirits of the spooky woods. What will you give us to let you pass? We'll give you our friendship. Friend rhymes with end. Yes, you may pass the woods safely. <laughs> you did it, Orbit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, wise wizard Orball, the path is this way. Right, I knew that. <laughs> Adventurers explore the cosmic caves where they encounter the bridge of Crackaboom. Isn't this where they also meet? <laughs> seem to be having so much fun. <clears throat> I thought I'd like to play along in your adventure, too. Hey, wait, where's the bracelet? Oh, no, Squeak has the magic bracelet. How will we find the rocket now? TK, you must have something in your tummy trunk that will get Squeak to come back. And Eminon, if Squeak can be lured back, someone will have to snatch the bracelet. But what about you guys? I've got my rocket boots. I can pull the others out. Hurry and get Squeak, or we'll never get the bracelet back. I've got just the thing to catch Squeak. Squeak's mouse food. Good thinking, TK. You stay here and shake the box. <laughs> Squeak! Dinner time! Oh, gotcha! Yeah! Nice going, Eminem. Mm. <sighs> Rob! You did it! You got the bracelet! Mm -hmm. Every one of us has a job in this fellowship. 
And yours is carrying this bracelet to lead us back home. We must be close. Let's go. <laughs> and the mighty adventurers journeyed past the spooky woods, through the cosmic caves. With friendship and teamwork, they made it to Mount Boom, where they found their rocket. I'd say that's an epic mission accomplished. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we didn't know how our story ended, so we went to Storybook Planet to act out our own adventure. But we all got carried away and forgot about our fellowship. Every role is important, but they only tell a story if they all work together. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Storybook Planet. I'm pretending to be da 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 Heracles, the ancient Greek hero. I'm stronger than a giant bull and faster than a horse. Oops. Aww. Oh, just when I was finally winning. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock over your game. I was pretending to be Heracles. Who? Heracles. He was strong and brave and fast. And that made him a hero? He chased monsters. That seems pretty heroic. Hey, I'm really fast. Maybe I could be a hero. You mean a heroine. Yes! Emma the Mighty! Oh, me too! I'm not very fast, but I'm strong! See? Uh, uh, maybe I need a little practice. Maybe there's some place where we can all train to become stronger and faster. Like, what's his name? Heracles? Yeah! Him! That would be awesome! And that sounds like we have a mission, and you know what that means! It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can train to be heroes, like Heracles. That sounds like one heroic mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. The cake planet? <laughs> that won't do. We don't want to train for a cake eating contest. <laughs> a pet planet? That might work. If we were training pets. <laughs> Stadium planet! That's perfect! It looks just like the kind built in ancient Greece! Yes, the stadium planet! An excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! Stadium Planet! Wow! This looks a lot like an ancient Greek stadium, only way more robo-cool! It's the perfect place for hero training! Check this out. 
Are we supposed to do that? What? Lift these rocks? Sure. No. <laughs> Problem. Wow. You look more like a hero already, Orbit. Me? Really? <laughs> hey, this isn't so hard. That's right. Now, step aside. Here comes my super strong out of this universe boulder lift. What? Rob, no! You might... <clears throat> Simmering circuits? You are strong! Yeah! That was awesome! I guess rock lifting isn't my best talent, huh? Ah, you just need a little more practice, Orbit, and that's what training is all about. Then we'll all be super strong, like Heracles! Yeah! <laughs> I think you could be the next great hero, Rob. I know. We'll call you... Robocles. Yes, Robocles, a hero among friends. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> oh, look! Monster training! This must be a kind of obstacle course where we'll face monsters, just like Heracles did. for heroes like us. And heroines. And heroines to prove how brave we are. Think of this as a test. Ugh, I hate tests. I'm terrible at tests. Maybe I'll just wait in the rocket. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm Robocles, hero among friends, remember? Stick with me and you'll be fine. Aha! Run! Huh? Whoa! You're safe with Robocles. Come on. That was amazing. You're really good at this, Rob. Yes, Robocles, you're my hero. Thank you. Thank you. The great Robocles at your service. Lead us to the next challenge, oh great Robocles! Look! It's a chariot race! Of course! Heroes and heroines need to practice traveling with great speed! Oh! Wow! Those are the coolest hover chariots ever! Oh, this one is the perfect chariot for a hero like me! I'm pretty sure they're all the same, Rob. Don't you mean Robocles? Er, right. Robocles. I think they look a lot like the chariots found in ancient Greece. Hmm. Aren't these chariots supposed to have horses? I bet Heracles' chariot had horses. These are robo-chariots. They move on hover power. Even Heracles couldn't catch me in one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fast. Hang on! <laughs> Hero. 
You know, Robocles, a hero among friends. Oh, wait. You're right. Orbit is a hero. He was the one who helped Emma. While I was busy thinking about winning, he was helping a friend. That makes me a hero? Yes. Being a hero is more than just being strong or brave or fast. You put Emma before yourself. And that makes you a real hero. And for that, we name you Brave Orbitocles, the hero of Yay! heroes. <laughs> I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Yes. And that means this is one big heroic mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we went to the stadium planet to train to be heroes and heroines. We lifted rocks and dodged monsters in order to be strong and brave, like Heracles. We even had a chariot race in order to be fast like Heracles. But when Orbit rescued Emma, we realized there's more to a hero than just being strong or brave or fast. A real hero puts others before him or herself. A very heroic mission indeed. I'd say it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one.